loves, welcome back. Today I'm going to vlog. Me and my little gang are heading out to the farm. We are going to just enjoy a little bit of summertime at the farm. You may notice something different about me, maybe in this region. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit when we get to the farm, but for now, we gotta get in the car, we gotta make a move. It is a whole new process when you're traveling with a baby, so um, wish us luck. We are off out into the countryside. Um, but first, I want to show you my outfit. So I would say this probably isn't translating on camera as nice as it looks in real life. I feel really nice in this outfit. I'm wearing my Whistles Barrel jeans, which I loved a bit, had them for absolutely ages. I'm wearing some loafers from Aid. Blazer is from Arquette, love this blazer. And I think this shirt blouse thing is old All Saints, I think. So that is my outfit for the day. What a beautiful July day. So we're in the car. It took us a little while to get in the car, but we made it. Um, it is my first time sitting in the front for a longer trip. Um, I don't know why, I just kept sitting next to the baby. <laughs> um, she didn't like the car seat for a bit, to be fair. Anyway, it's gone okay so far. Okay, I don't want to jinx it. I used to love car trips when I was little. I used to love looking out the window, watching the raindrops chase each other, because it was always raindrops, because it's, you know, it's the UK. I used to spend a lot of time, not a lot of time, I used to go back and forth to Devon, to my grandma's house down there, in her car, in her old Volvo. It's a big blue square Volvo. Uh, yeah, I used to love car trips. I'm hoping she'll also enjoy car trips. But yeah, she's she's four months now, so I thought it's high time that I start sitting in the front again like a real adult. Um, so that's what we're doing, and it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. The seat is much comfier. I'll stay that much than sitting in the middle. We're going to head to McDonald's, I think, for some food, because I'm hungry. Look at you, sir. Beautiful, man. Hello. Nice, thank you. No one can be unkind, but you're not always understanding. I like to take my time, but time is what you're always chasing. I know I like to hide, but you're not always keen on seeking. You said you're up for the fight, but I farm had a mcdonald's yum and i wanted to talk to you about my ear stack today because i have switched it up for the first time in years and i'm actually so excited about it it's so nice to have like a fresh little change so so this part of the video is sponsored by monica vidita and you will know, if you're a long time follower of me, you will know that my story with Monica Vinita goes back a very long time. I think for my 19th birthday, 18th, 19th birthday, my mum got me my first ever like stacking rings and they were from Monica Vinita and they were the only brand I think at the time that was really, that, to my memory anyway, that was really doing like everyday jewellery that was, that was supposed to be stackable, that was supposed to be worn every day, but it was like really beautiful quality. And today, this whole ear is all Monica Minida. Um, so I switched some bits out this morning and I've always been really lazy with this because I always thought it would be a lot more of a faff than it is, but it actually was not a faff at all. I think because my all of my piercings have now fully healed because I've had them all for you know, over over a year, maybe even over two years. 
it makes switching out jewellery a lot easier. <laughs> yes, and I am loving the refresh, so I'll just take you through. Now, I don't know the official names, um, so I'll write them on the screen if if I get them horribly wrong, but we've got a couple of kind of um, infinity diamond hoops at the top, then these gorgeous, like, twisty ones. Um, I really love these, and I love the way these look. Almost want to get two more and put them in the top because I just think they look so pretty. These all come in pairs, by the way, you don't buy them separately. Um, I did put them in altern like alternating, these like twisty ones and the diamond ones, but I decided actually they look nicer sort of coupled together. Then I've got this one with a little hole in it and it kind of mirrors the one in my Tragus, Tragus. And I've got this really nice one with a little coin dropping off it. And I love the combination of these two. Do you see, they're sort of like battered a little bit. They look so nice together. Um, and then in my, what's this one called? I've had a mind bank, but I got this little hoop with a tiny little uh, white stone. And then I've got this beautiful thick band. This one's new and I am obsessed with it. Wearing it with this old vintage piece. Apologies, my very grown out nails. They're getting done soon. So thank you so much, Monica Vinader, for partnering with me because it is like a 19 year old me's dream come true. I'm actually gonna show you just a couple other earrings um, in my lower lobes. Like on my ring, I'm obsessed with the green stones that they do. I just think they're so beautiful. I'm just gonna put these ones in. They're like little drops. How pretty is that? And then I also have these really lovely hoops, which are just beautiful everyday hoops. I love this kind of size. And they're also like diamond eternity ones. But yes, this has really inspired me to switch up my, sort of my more adventurous piercings more often, not just my lobe ones. Would you switch these two around? Maybe. Yes, I will leave a link to everything down below. Um, there's so many beautiful options. And you can sort of create something that suits you. That's my other option. I am feeling slowly like I'm coming back to myself a little bit. I'm trying to have a bit more fun with what I'm wearing and actually think about it more. Even maybe before COVID, I was just wearing quite similar things on repeat, which is fine. It's nice to have a uniform. It's nice to have things that you feel really comfortable in and that you can just chuck on and feel like great in. But I'm trying to have fun with my styling a little bit more, especially after, you know, a year and a half of loungewear and having a baby as well and everything changing and body changing. And I'm trying to have a bit of a refresh in general. So it has been nice to like, just have a change today. You know, I've always been one of those people that doesn't really have like a signature style. I tend to switch it up day to day and I have more different style personalities as it were and I am it is crystallizing a little bit as I get older I do want to be more sort of purposeful when I'm shopping for things that I know that I need in my wardrobe I've started to write a list of things that I sort of want in my wardrobe and I'm particularly I love anything that sits beautifully on the body nice tailoring just things that are cut nicely just being more mindful about what I'm wearing and hope that it kind of gets me back into the swing of things and I think it's a bit of a funny one because when I see online people just tend to have quite a distinct style and they often dress you know in that style day to day and I think it makes for a more cohesive sort of online presence I suppose but I've never been like that and I think I need to embrace that a little bit more um and also yes really only buy things that i absolutely love so that's why when i said i feel nice in this outfit today and that's a bit of a rarity um i i want to feel nice again in my clothes that is a journey that i will be going on in the next few months is kind of just finding my style myself again post-pregnancy so yes that is my pledge is to have a little bit of a style refresh over the next few months find things i really like really feel nice in shop my own wardrobe try and have fun a bit more um and if you are interested maybe i'll do some more videos around that um let me know because i think we're all trying to rediscover how to dress ourselves but anyway i'm going to switch back to my other ear earring combo. Right, I'm gonna go and see what the little one is up to. Don't know what the plan is for us today, I need to unpack, that sort of thing. 
Um, I think we're having lasagna for dinner, so, so all exciting stuff. Good morning my loves, welcome back. Now whilst I used to be like a daily vlogger, as in I like to film from the start to the end of the day, I think at the minute, little snippets of a week, it's probably going to work a little bit better. Um, I actually enjoy watching little snippets of a week more, I think, than like a, like a day. Um, just because then you get the best bits, but I don't know, we'll get back to daily vlogging in the future. So obviously it's a few days later, um, I'm back in London, I am going to go get my nails done today. These have really grown, <laughs> like grown a lot, super long, um, so we're going to definitely bring those down a little bit lengthwise, <laughs> otherwise they're all going to start breaking soon. These are my natural nails with gel on top no extensions. Um, I do sometimes get extensions. Yeah, I'm going to get my nails done today and then Zach and I are going on a date night tonight, so hopefully we will make it to the end of the day um, in the rest of this vlog, but we'll see. <laughs> we will see. Uh, we're going to go to the River Cafe, which is a lovely Italian restaurant on the river. Um, there's often celebs there. I Who have I seen at the River Cafe? I've seen Brad Pitt before with a pile of scripts on his table. Very cool. Um, he must have been with his agent or something. Going through scripts, don't know what he had on his table, it was about over 10 years ago now, probably. So, or maybe 10 years ago. Um, so who knows what he had on his table. But anyway, who else have I seen? I've seen like Tandy Newton, people like that. Um, Londoners. Anyway, there's often celebs there, it's good celebs following. We'll see if I see any tonight. But um, yes, that's where we're going to go for dinner, have a little date night, very exciting. Um, we're going to hopefully put the baby to sleep before we go. She has not been too troublesome at bedtime at the minute, but I suspect <laughs> if we have to do something or be somewhere, it could be a little different, you know, they seem to pick up on that energy, babies. Anyway, I want to show you my outfit quickly. Um, pretty simple wearing my um, Levi's mom jeans um, a white tee this is a really old sorry my flies a little bit undone at the top there um, this is like it's called they were called the nibble tees I loved them um, and I have a few but I wish I had more white ones anyway and this Regina Pio blazer when I when I want to wear a blazer but I also want to look summery this is the one I've been reaching for at the minute because it's that kind of like nice faded red linen-y ish and so it looks summery but I can still get away with wearing a blazer and then I'm wearing my converse as well don't know what bag I'm gonna take yet I I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then head out to do nails I need to pump as well before I go <laughs> um which is a bit hit and miss for me sometimes it really works sometimes it doesn't The distance between the dark and light Just as the dawn is both day and night Maybe I can make you mine I feel the divide between you and I Like the distance between the dark and light Just as the dawn is both day and night Maybe I can make you mine Indy's trying to do some work and this baby's <laughs> trying away to herself but here are my new nails I think I did show you them already but we went for a little green moment these are new favorite sounds um we I actually kind of match her at the minute I'm just going to show you we're focusing on the crab very green <laughs> So I've just been sat on the sofa since I got home, to be honest. Um, I'm sure there was a thousand things on my list to do today, none of which I've done. I did a little Q&A on my Instagram. Let me know if you'd like me to do one on here as well. I probably should do one. Just a little update. 
all that sort of thing. Maybe I will do one on here too at some point. Anyway, just hanging out with the baby to be honest until she goes to bed. Like I said, did I say earlier? We're gonna try and put her to bed a little bit earlier than usual tonight so that we can go to dinner. Um, would have picked a more convenient dinner time but there was no cookings. So um, yeah, she's going to bed hopefully a little bit earlier. So we, I've just put the baby down. She's not quite asleep yet. We are gonna head out for dinner now. I have just done shoe change um, into these Chloe sandals which I love. Um, you can see the markings of my socks, so try and ignore that. But yep, love these shoes. Also, for the brief time I have worn them, I wore them a little bit on holiday. They are really comfy, don't want to jinx it, but so far they are incredibly comfortable. So <laughs> we'll see. I'm still not going to do loads of walking tonight, but anyway. Just thought I'd note that because they're quite flattering, cute, and got a little heel. So if you're looking for sandals like that, don't know if they're still available. They might be in a sale or something. Um, then I can recommend these. I think they're really nice. And I'm also wearing this Jill sander bag. That's what I was wearing earlier as well. So yes, I thought, you know what? I'm not going to try and find another outfit. This is what I'm going to wear. So this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> from the bathroom. We are home now from our dinner. I can hear the baby stirring. So I'm going to try and be quick. I want to quickly get ready for bed before I go in and feed her. Um, hopefully if I feed her now I might get sort of okay first bit of my sleep. Sometimes it gets interrupted. We'll see how we go anyway. You never know. Um, as you might be able to tell, we actually have some lights in here for the first time in a very long time. It's quite amazing and almost too bright, some might say. Dinner was lovely. It always is. I forgot to film my actual main course, which was ravioli. It was very delicious. It's nice there, the food is lovely, and it's kind of got quite a chilled atmosphere. Um, we were outside. Which was nice. You can see my postpartum hair loss here, by the way. <laughs> Got a little bit of a receding hairline on that side. Yes, it was nice. No celebs really. I think um, Camilla Parker Bowles' son was there. <laughs> um, I only recognised him because he's on MasterChef sometimes, I think. Um, but no other celebs I could see, to be fair. I didn't do a full racky. But yes, I'm gonna love you and leave you probably for this vlog now, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't know what I've talked about in it. That tends to happen. Just could be anything. Oh, let, let's give you a little reading update because I always forget to do them. I often get asked. In fact, Man Booker Prize long list got announced. I think it was like 2 a.m. this morning or something. And I haven't really properly looked at it. Um, I haven't looked at the blurbs for the novels that I don't instantly recognise the names of. So I need to do that and have a little look at that whenever I get a minute. But um, my instant thought, well, my initial thoughts were that I definitely was not going to read the long list this year. Because obviously I've got, obviously I've got a baby, so it's highly unlikely I'll make my way through it. Um, and... I was so wanting to prioritise like books that I know I'm going to enjoy this year and try to stop reading things that I'm not going to enjoy, try to stop reading so many new releases because I just find that the likelihood of you finding a book you love, you know, one year of publishing versus the last hundred years maybe is very slim. <laughs> so I want to stop reading so many new releases but then they announce the long list and I'm always just so tempted. I just like the whole, I just like all the conversation that surrounds them and I like being in the know. If I was to read them, I think I'd do some on my Kindle, just so I've not got loads of hardbacks hanging around. Um, but ones I am interested in reading, um, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews of it, but I would like to read Clara in the Sun. 
because um, I do like Ishiguro. Um, I would like to read the Richard Powers. Somehow I still haven't read any Richard Powers since I read and really liked the overstory. So I would like to read more Powers. I've got one on my shelf that I've been meaning to read for absolutely ages. I think I had it in one of my TBRs and never read it. Um, one day I'll get around to it. <laughs> so I'd like to read the Powers. And I've never read any Rachel Cusk. I don't know whether Rachel Cusk is going to be my kind of cup of tea, you guys. I don't know. Um, but that's why I've kind of been putting it off. But I will get around to some Rachel Cusk at some point. Obviously, she's on the list. So we will see. But I don't know, guys. I should, definitely should not attempt to read it because if I do, I'll only slog over it needlessly. But oh, I do like being in the know. Um, maybe I'll read the shortlist this year, maybe that would make more sense. But then last year, some of my favourite books were on the long list. Um, anyway, what I'm reading at the minute. So I'm reading loads of books, let me see. I'm trying to read some Proust every now and then. Not really succeeding on that one. Right, so I'm reading Calypso by David Starris. That's my book club pick from last um, book video. And I'm finding it not good, like enjoyable, but not amazing. On my Kindle I'm reading one of Jeff Vandermeer's um, anthologies. He's done a few anthologies with his wife, um, one of which is called The Weird. It's on Kindle Unlimited, which means that I have access to it for free. Um, I have also got a physical copy, but anyway, I'm reading like a story a day or a story every now and then on my Kindle from that. Um, and it's weird stories, so the genre of the weird, if you count the weird as a genre. I'm listening to The Martian, haven't listened to that for a while. Um, and I think that's it. Oh no, and I'm trialling on my Kindle, I got a sample of um, a net for small fishes. Who's it by? Let me see. Lucy Jago, um, which is a historical fiction about Anne Turner and Francis Howard. Um, they had a strange friendship. I don't fully know the story and I don't want to fully know the story. Um, so I'm just going to let the book reveal it to me. But yes, more historical fiction. You will know I've been really loving historical fiction since I read Wolf Hall. I've been on a bit of a historical fiction thing. Um, so we're trying that one. It's a debut, I think, but she did used to write history, just like normal history, I think. I don't know. And I read about 10 pages of it at about 1am last night whilst I was feeding the baby. Um, and I am enjoying it. There's so many good things about reading on Kindle. For example, getting samples of books before you buy them. Obviously, you can do that through libraries as well. I do really need to rejoin the British Library, but that's a different thing. And being able to like highlight words, highlight things without having to annotate, and like look up words, look up things on Wikipedia with ease. I do love that about reading on the Kindle, but it's just not the same, guys. There's something about it that's just not the same. But anyway, it's so convenient. The backlight, so I can read in the dark, for instance, when I'm feeding so many good things about reading on it but it just doesn't have quite the same feel anyway i'm gonna head to bed well first i'm gonna read the movie then i'm gonna head to bed thank you for watching this vlog and see you again very soon bye